a giant room full of veterinarians in training. Here they practice surgical techniques, bandaging injured limbs, and examining model animals, skills they will transfer to real patients someday. This is the just open simulation lab at UT's College of Veterinary Medicine and part of the school's new teaching and learning center. Monica Lee started her veterinary training in 2020 in the pandemic, and it's exciting for her to be learning with other students in a realistic setting. It's good to get an idea of like what procedures and what we can do in general, and it'll help our confidence. That way, so if we know we can do it on a model, we're gonna feel better about it when we go in with a live patient. Um, as students, there are certain things that you just can't do on a, on a, a live animal in the clinic, uh, client, pa or client patient, and um, so the Sim Lab gives us that opportunity. Where I'm standing right now, two and a half years ago, was a parking lot. Today, it's a lecture hall that seats 125 students. This new center is the first major expansion of instructional space for the college since it first opened back in the 70s. One, <laughs> UT recently had an opening ceremony for the new center. This facility is giving us the opportunity with its diversity and versatility, but also its state-of-the-art technology to have opportunities we've never had before. It also gives us a space to expand our enrollment. Um, we uh, are in a situation where uh, we have a, the need for more veterinarians. And well-trained veterinarians, Indy Elaine says, Associate Dean for Student Affairs at CBM. She believes the new space will allow for a greater variety of instruction. The teaching labs on either side of the central hall um, modernize and expand the um, uh, type of space where we can do hands-on training from day one. Classes inside the new center are underway for spring. The college has trained 2,800 veterinarians in its history and more on the way soon. Practice just might be the best education, and now these students work in an interactive environment that supports their learning. This is Charles Denny reporting.